get inside. Yeah. I'm all excited. Uh, I've got a friend who lives down the road in his barn. He said he might have some old photographic equipment. So I think I found it. Let's have a look in the box. Ah, it's all old darkroom equipment. Look, that's a darkroom clock. Actually, if anybody wants to start doing a bit of darkroom stuff, this might be the stuff you need. You might find it anywhere. So, a darkroom clock. What else have we got? Oh, 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 oh. Now that's for putting paper under while you're using an enlarger. That's very good. What else? Oh, there we go. Now that's for putting all your 35 millimeter slides in. Um, and then you put a piece of paper, well, no, first you put the piece of paper, then you put your 35 mm slides on it, or film, negatives, and then you expose it under light and it gives you all the details, small little prints. Um, what else have we got? Oh, now, this is for an enlarger. It's a bit dusty. Now that... The film sits in there, a piece of film goes through and the rest of the film sits in there and you put it in your enlarger and you've got... Now I wonder if the rest is there. Let's have a look. No, what have we got? Oh, we've got a flash. Well, that'd be handy. Don't suppose you want that back. Now, what else? Up, oh, up. Oh. Well, we've got an exposure meter. Now, that's a Western exposure meter. So if you're going out and you've got an old camera, really old camera, it won't have an exposure meter in it, and that is the best, a Western. And what's this? That's a machine for loading 35mm film into cassettes. Um, so you put your 100 meters or 50 meters in there, of course in the dark, and then you put your cassette in, and you turn the knob and you load your, load your cassette. So that's a lot cheaper, buying black and white film like that, or colour film like that, but um, I presume it's still sold. What else have we got? We've got, ah, the famous red light. Well, that's good. Oh, an English plug on it. No, I don't live in England. <laughs> um, a bowl. Now, I expect that bowl to stay a bowl. Oh. Now we've got some printing trays, so that's what you put your chemicals in to print the prints. What else? Oh, that's got to be the top of an enlarger. Yes, that's the top of an enlarger with the bulb in it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, now that's a magnifying glass that you put under the print on the enlarger. And these are little sort of things to pull your prints out. So you don't get chemicals all over your fingers. Uh, that's an enlarger lens, got it written on it, enlarger lens. So, and that's a squeegee, you put it on the film, when you dry it, you've got to make it clean, otherwise you scratch the film. What else? Oh, there we go, a thermometer. Because the chemicals have to be at the right temperature, and what else? Oh, we've got... Little clips to hang the film up when it's drying, and a little brush for cleaning the dust off the negatives. Well, that's good, isn't it? Eh? So, that's what to look out for if you're in a garage sale, boot sale, or anything like that. And you might pick up a bit from here and a bit from there. Now, I've got this bit of the enlarger, and I've got the other bits of the enlarger, and I went back and I found the big piece of the enlarger. Now, it's all wrapped up. I don't know why, but anyway, it's all there. I'll show you that in another video. And it all goes, and that's what will enlarge you the photographs. Now, I wonder where all this came from. 19, 1996 it was all put away. Um, now, there's one thing more that I'm going to need if I'm going to develop film. Now, it wasn't in the box, but I found it, actually, last weekend in a boot sale. Now, that is for developing film. What you do is you put your film in there, put it in there, whoop, do it up tight, and take that off, 
and then you pour your chemicals in and no light can get in. But anyway, I'll show you how to develop film in a different, uh, in a different video. Great, isn't it? Okay. Cheers.